But as a special uh, request to Rendell, our communications manager, I'm going to ask people to <laughs> smash the like button. There you go, Rendell, I said it. Part of my soul died and shriveled saying that, but. I made him do it. Uncivilized Vitality, and uh, we're out here in the field with these, uh, the awesome sling. So we're gonna do some sling and spear, and my wife, Carrie Ann, has uh, volunteered to come and help me uh, get some footage of slinging. Um, we've got a few of these different slings, and these are available on our new, eh, we'll just let them drop, our new <laughs> Etsy channel. So uh, you can check that out, order yourself a sling that we make and we got variety of colors uh, and then and different construction. We're gonna go through that uh, in a little bit. Let's throw them over there. And then you've got your sling and then I've got my sling and we're gonna step over here and show you how to do that. So uh, for safety's sake, uh, we went over how to use the sling. My wife has not done this uh, more than once or twice. So we're gonna practice a little bit today. We found this field and with um, just, just like with a firearm, we gotta be careful of what's around us, what's behind us, and what's on the other side of our targets. We're using this wide open field where we can see if any animals or people or cars drive by. And we're gonna be aiming sort of toward that dead tree out there. We're gonna do a couple different um, throws and releases. So Carrie Ann's got hers. She's gonna practice mainly, mainly the underarm, letting it come around and go and then she gets feeling a little more confident today she can bring it around her head and let go with the sidearm throw okay i'm going to use the overhand or the the so-called figure eight throw and we'll uh we'll throw them out there for distance first just kind of warm up and then maybe we'll set up a target target and check her accuracy so uh oh we should show we're sort of throwing a bunch of stones and what would be an ideal slinging stone if you're looking for targets you're not using tennis balls you're actually throwing stones something that's kind of oblong a little bit longer in one dimension than in another these are great because in the split pouch balearic style um, slings that we make and use at uncivilized vitality most of the time the oblong stone sits in the pouch whereas a round stone might with the forces of spinning slip between the straps on the pouch. The oblong stone sits in there real well, and then when it's released, it can almost spin through the air, kind of like a football, and uh, theoretically give us more accuracy. So let's... So the open part goes on the top of the middle finger, correct? Yep, so palm up, this is how you put your sling on, and then you get your little bead is gonna go towards your ring finger, and the little strap goes on the palm side of your finger. Okay. Right? That's your retention cord. And it goes down to your pouch. And on this side, you're going to grip that little knot or the smooth release on the release cord. Okay. Uh, it's awful windy today, too. So if all you hear is rushing wind and this audio is lost, I don't know what to do. So let's try a couple. Let's start you out with that one. Okay. I'm going to stand back for safety's sake. Should still be in camera. All right, so you want me to go that way? I want way? you to throw it toward that dead tree, watching out for that guy and his dog. <laughs> so let's get the underhand release. Okay. Wait, wait one minute. Just for safety's sake. Oh, should I take that off? No, yeah, we'll just, I'll just tuck this in your back pocket. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, now don't get handsy on the video. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, hold on. Okay, so I just loop once, right? Yep, just loop once, come around. Yep, very good. The more you spin it, doesn't really, like some people think you take the sling, and the more you spin it, it doesn't really impart more force to it than one good one good swing. It's the, the physics of the, the sling, the length of the cords that add to the moment arm of your, your shoulder coming around, the angular momentum to throw it. So, uh, the reason I try to talk my wife into volunteering to get a, a little footage is I've been on YouTube, uh, I look at slings and read about slingshots and books and things all the time for sling and spear uh, information. I have yet to see any female slingers on uh, YouTube. They might exist, but in the hundreds and hundreds of slinging videos I've watched, not one yet. So uh, maybe we're making history here. So 
Well, let's go ahead and sling a few. We'll just get some footage of using the slings. Okay. Yeah, oh man, don't hit that bird. All right. Ooh, see, that was better. So when you first start throwing, the idea is just get a release to make sure you can get it in the general direction you want it to go. Then start working on release timing so you can get the height, right? Not too high, not too low. Then you just sort of dial in one, one aspect of your throw at a time. Then you can start trying the, over, uh, the side arm and the overhead. Okay. You could probably do it backhanded, but I've never seen it. So one of the things, hope this is not too windy. Uh, sling is obviously a toy. We used to, I've mentioned before, we used to throw crab apples at each other uh, when we were little, which I don't encourage uh, YouTube. <laughs> but you think of these as a, as a field expedient weapon for hunting. Hunting would be a little tough because you'd have to develop, you'd have to develop the accuracy to throw that straight like a line like that. But you could get, uh, 10 or 12 people together, men or women, the sling is a, is a, a non-sex specific weapon. You get 10 women standing on the top of a hill slinging stones down. I mean, imagine those coming down on a battlefield or on a, an approaching enemy or being used to disperse looters and rioters. And it's easier to travel with than my yeah. bow. Yeah. Just open your release cord release. hand. Yep, and just for safety, I'm gonna stand back. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. It's real straight. You, you hesitated a little bit at the end and the rock kind of came came out uh, up near you but that's okay all right all right we'll wait till the car goes by and then we'll we'll throw some more that's probably a good idea in the meantime let's go over the camera and you can show your sling parts oh, okay all right so you can hold up like right in here what am i holding up yep. this part yep so uh, scoot back a tiny bit there you go right there all right, so I wait for that car to uh, move by in the the background, so Carrie Ann doesn't hunt it. Um, these are the split pouches. So hold those up. And you just made those out of leather, and I've attached those uh, to the cords. The cord that's attached to her hand, that side, and you can let it drop. Show them the cord. That is the retention cord on a sling, and it's got this little leather uh, strap that fits around your middle finger, mm -hmm. and a little bead on there, so she can pull that through to tighten it up. Yep, little skull. Yep, put that on your, uh, like mount it up so they can see it. So it just goes on like that. I find it's a little, a little better to have the bead facing toward your, toward your ring and, and little finger so the cord is on the same side as the release. Okay. All right. Then, your split pouch comes down and you have an even, so better scoot back a little bit, an equal amount of cord that comes up to your release string, the release cord, that has either a small knot um, or a tassel or some way to grip that to index it. You just make your fist, and that way it keeps the equal length of the cords. This one's a little long for her, so that the pouch is even at the end, so you get the, the proper physics. All right, there goes our, our car. We'll have to tune them out. Let's go try some more.
All right, that's cool. As long as we don't hit the, the camera or the husband, we're fine. Aiming is tough. Go ahead and throw that last one. What you and I can do is to get some tennis balls and go to uh, a local tennis court that seems to be big in the slinging community. We'll set up some targets. Ah, that was a slow one. That's right. Plus. That way we can go to a, a tennis court, set up a target on the fence, and then just uh, run through a, like a whole basket of tennis balls so that uh, we don't have to go far to retrieve them. And then these split pouch style slings that the uncivilized vitality makes and uses are wide enough to uh, accommodate uh, a tennis ball or any kind of natural actual projectile. The, uh, the Romans used to mold their projectiles out of uh, lead, like lead shot, or sometimes clay, or sometimes lead in, in, enclosed within clay, baked clay, and then they would write messages on it like, uh, like ouch is a funny one historically, or uh, you know, bleep, bleep you, or maybe they'd mark them with the insignia of their unit. So the sling, a That's traditional fun. ancient weapon, uh, field expedient weapon for hunting and self-defense part of the sling and spear and uh, also just a, a fun toy so thanks for helping me out there wife yeah it was fun thank you all right let's go oh wait uh i forgot <laughs> so leave some comments below how you do your slings and um contact us at info at uncivilized vitality if you'd like to purchase a sling from our etsy store or directly from us save you the trouble of making it ours are reinforced with the grommets so the leather lasts but as a special uh, request to Rendell, our communications manager, I'm going to ask people to <laughs> smash the like button. There you go, Rendell. I said it. Part of my soul died and shriveled saying that. But I made him do it. Yeah. Like, share, subscribe. There you go. <laughs>